when you follow my channel, my YouTube channel about electronics, uh, you will say always see uh, circuits that are made in this way. A piece of wood, brass nails, the wood is properly varnished and uh, I always tell uh, to use this glue. It is glue for sewage pipes and I have told uh, many times about this, but anyway, perhaps there are uh, a lot of new followers, viewers of all my videos that don't know how I make my circuit. So, uh, glue for uh, stuff, polyvinyl chloride. And this is the glue, it's the glue for sewage pipes and of course I'm sure you can buy it everywhere. And that's uh, say the first layer of lacquer that I use uh, in these circuits. And then I uh, push in brass nails. They are not uh, say completely pure brass, they are steel and there is a brass layer outside. And well, this is the idea of this video, simple way of constructing electronic circuits. Say there's always a kind of idea that electronic circuits must be made on the, say, ideal way on a, a breadboard or uh, say on a copper cloth board or with glass fiber, the well known green glass fiber boards, etc. etc. Uh, but this is also a very good way, and uh, you can, for instance, test it on that board, then finally uh, build it in in a beautiful enclosure, a beautiful box. And that is what I surely will do with this circuit and all the other circuits and uh, you even can make a shortwave radio with this way of making. Uh, important to tell and I've paid much attention earlier to that uh, issue or not an issue but say how to do it. Uh, tin plate and the tin plate is say from beer cans or cola cans, of course not aluminum, because you cannot solder to aluminum. And then glue this tin plate to the back side. You can see it here. Tin plate glued to the back side with contact glue. And for that purpose, I always use, like I have told many times, this type of glue. At least in the Netherlands we know it as Bison Kit. Anyway, um, that's say the best contact glue to glue that very thin tin plate to the wood. Um, well, and here is it, what it's all about. This is the tin plate, it's now minus, this is the NPN transistor, say this is an electronic circuit and here is the minus and of course the tin plate here on the back side will be connected to the minus by drilling a hole, for instance here, and then make one and only earth connection to the minus plate at the back side. That's very important and to get a good galvanic connection, solder, you can see the solder here, solder these uh, very thin tin plates together. And when you don't do that, you have a bad connection in your earth plate, in the earth connections, and that can lead to very, very strange problems, especially in audio circuits. Say, strange hum, that cannot be um, cured, etc., etc. So, 
soldering connections here and here to make this a completely galvanic coupled earth plate. So there's not so much more to tell. And over somewhat finally. What I'm working on is again a sawtooth generator. I can't get enough of it made with two transistors. And I will uh, say show the premature schematic of this circuit. It's a circuit out of the out of the circuit circuit books of the 1970s made with two transistors. And they are here. This is one transistor here, the other transistor is here, and this is the circuit. I wanted to make a complete video about sawtooth generators. Well, that was my first idea, by the way. Um, but I had to do more study and especially more experiments on this circuit from the circuit card books of the 1970s. Now it only works around 4.1 kilo cycles. Power supplies 24 volts. Uh, when you disconnect here these two re uh, uh, resistors it, it also works. So this 470k potentiometer sets the, the bias, the working point of the whole circuit. Uh, like I say, it's a premature schematic, though it works. And to show that it is premature, let me show the problems of this circuit. Always interesting, of course. Uh, say, making uh, successful electronic circuits, and then I mean analog circuits, is always a kind of struggling. BD140, BD139, NPN, PMP, pin connections are the same, etc. So what happens when I change that bias here? Now we are on 4.2 kilohertz. This is a waveform and it's a quite good Saltus wave. Here you can see the stability Change is not so much, but anyway, now I am going to turn this potentiometer here. 470k. Let's see what happens. The oscillation stops. Now I turn it slightly back. Oscillation is there again, but it is now on 2.1 kilohertz. The linearity is somewhat gone, anyway, no problem. And now I turn that potentiometer further again. Very, very careful. Now we are on 4.6, 4.4 kilohertz. Waveform is better in terms of linearity, anyway. And now I turn it back again, further, and then oh, surely the oscillation will stop. Well, it doesn't stop. And now we are on 6.6 .6 kilohertz. So, how does the waveform look like? It now goes more or less to a sine wave, and I've done more experiments with this circuit, and it's on a certain moment it goes to a sine wave. But that has everything to do with the bias here. This one, this bias potentiometer. You can set the frequency. That frequency um, is generated by charging the capacitor that is responsible for the frequency. For a big part, of course, this is an uh, RC combination. 
they work together to get to a certain frequency. <laughs> well, let me try to change this 10k potentiometer. Let's see what happens. Could be that the whole circuit stops. Anyway, no problem. So here you see on 7.3, that's kind of flaw of this circuit, at least when you want to make a sawtooth waves. The waveform changes a little bit to a sine wave. So many things to do to get this circuit into working properly. More to come, etc. etc. Uh, well, referring to my first ID, you can make all these circuits in this way. Simple way of constructing electronic circuits. Good for hobbyists, and like I told, you can also make a shortwave radio up to approximately 15 megahertz with this set up and when you study my YouTube channel you find say in a kind of way all my circuits made in this way and also the radio circuits. Go to the looking glass of my uh, channel trailer and type their keywords like radio, oscillator, etc. etc. Thanks for watching.